Hello? Oh, it's working. Cool. Hello. Hi there. I hope you all can hear me. Uh, I need to try and, uh, yeah, it should be fine. I need to keep my voice down because it is 9am in the morning over here in the UK. And um, I have people in the house that are sleeping. That people being one person, I think, and that is my partner. <laughs> um, anyway, yeah, so it's going to be quite chill today. Well, it's always chill. That's the vibe I want to do, you know? Uh, let's get some music playing while I talk, shall we? Um, yeah, let me know. That might be a bit too loud. I don't know. Um, as always, let me know how everything sounds. Um, ooh, I'm going to move my mic a bit closer. That's better. Cool. Um, so today I thought we might go back to my D&D character, my Dungeons and Dragons character, um, Shay. She is a UNT pureblood and she's also a fighter, Eldritch Knight fighter to be exact, um, which is very cool. She's a very fun character to play. We've been playing for almost, I think, 10 sessions already and I've finally like adjusted to playing the character. Um, it took me a while, but as it always does, but finally got into it. Um, and if some of you, if some of you were here um, last year when I started the character, um, she was coloured in and shaded. And uh, I've decided to sort of go back a pace, a couple of paces and um, re have a go, have, reimagine the colouring, <laughs> I guess. I, I, didn't, I wasn't really vibing with my process. Since then I've been practicing with different types of processes of sh shading and highlighting. Um, so I'm gonna sort of just start again and go with that. Plus um, you might notice the, uh, the outline is slightly different. Um, I've made her a little bit uh, smaller because um, I imagine because she's quite a dexterous person. Um, I've also made the change the angle of the scimitars and stuff and her hair. Um, yeah, I think I'm vibing with this look a bit more. Um, so without further ado, uh, let me just check the sound real quick. Um, let me bring bring down the background noise because I have to speak quite quietly because it's morning. Uh, yeah, right. Uh, let, let's uh, let's do this thing. I hope you all enjoy and there's no pressure to do anything or interact. This is just a chill, nice stream. You can just lurk and draw and listen. Um, yeah, let me know if there's any problems. Um, there's a command for co um, exclamation mark lurk now, so you can let me know if you're lurking, but you don't have to. It's all good. It's chill here. We're, we have fun here. We have we have chill times here. Okay, uh, let's, let's get down to business. A squeaky chair. Uh, okay, I got the uh, got the stream manager up. Got my cup of tea. Having a herbal tea. Mm. Let's get to it. Um, so I still obviously want her to be an albino. It's a very integral part to the design. Uh, in case you haven't noticed, I'm an albino too. <laughs> um, some some of you are probably wondering what what happened to your face. Um, <laughs> I uh, I uh, decided not to put on all that much makeup today. I put on some foundation and a bit of lipstick, and that's it. <laughs> and a little bit of stuff under the eyes, and a little bit of highlighter, and a little bit of powder. There we go. Full disclosure. <laughs> okay. Um, maybe we should start... No, we'll go with my other technique first. Technique. Lol. Um, let's do the shading first. Oh, hello, who's here? Who's this? Pixiel, good morning. Hi Pixiel, how are you doing? How's things? Welcome, welcome to the stream. Welcome to the very sleepy morning stream. Um, I'm trying my best to speak a little bit quieter. 
because my partner is still asleep. <laughs> Hope you're doing all right. We, I don't know if you just dropped in, um, but we're drawing my D and D character, and we're uh, we're starting a little bit from not quite from scratch, but we're gonna redo the colors. Shh, <laughs> be quiet. I need to make a command uh, where if I feel like I, if people feel like I'm speaking too loudly, they need to go <laughs> exclamation mark. Shh, tell me to be quiet. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, so we're doing a little recolor um, because I didn't really like the colors I was going with before and some other features. So we're uh, we're trying again. Hmm. How are you doing this morning? Yeah, it's better. Just a bit more. Yeah, that feels better. My eyes are slightly wider. Um, not too bad, just started work, and so I thought I'd pop in and watch before my meeting. Oh yeah, of course, you have a meeting soon. <laughs> Good luck. Um, thank you for thanks for popping in. I really I really appreciate that. Is she an orc? No, she's um she's a UNT. So uh, she yeah she's a UNT pure blood, which is I don't probably don't need to explain this to you, but for anyone else watching, um, which is like a half snake, half human person. Um, so she's kind of got like snake like a sort of snaky face. Um I've d I've drawn an orc before years ago. Well, a couple of a couple of years ago, I think. Uh, my beloved Asher. Who I played it was my second D D character I ever played as. Nice, the eyes will be interesting in colour. Oh, thank you. So I'm going for a sort of, uh, she's she's going to be an albino UNT. Um, so she's probably going to have like, well, she's going to have like pink eyes and, and white hair and very pale complexion. Um, because I'm, I just, I, I'm obsessed with making every other D&D &D character an albino. <laughs> might have something to do with the fact that I'm also an albino and I want to feel um I want to feel like a badass so <laughs> um but yeah I'm excited I've I've drawn a half orc before her name was Asha um she was just wonderful um she was like a, I think she was neutral good, no she was lawful good, um, and she was part of like a mercenary group, um, and she was my second D&D character. My first D&D character was Columbina, who I used in my final year project, um, no my uh, master's project, not my final year project, um, 
and she's a gnome, a gnome bard. And still remains like my favourite, my favourite character I've ever played. What about you guys? Has anyone, anyone in chat played D&D? Is anyone currently playing? Or any kind of like a TTRPG or... Oh, excuse me. There should be an orc called Spork. <laughs> I'm sure there's one out there. <laughs> I love playing as orcs. I think, um... I think orcs are some of my favourite people to play as, honestly. Oh my gosh, I've just noticed something. Um, just realised. Hang on a second. I haven't made Neosis a VIP. How rude of me. Where is my... I feel like... How do I change that? Where is it? Role manager? Add new. Neo. Sis. There. VIP. There we go. Save. That makes sense. <laughs> Sorry, Neo Sis, if you're out there. <laughs> okay, back to it. I'm going to concentrate. Focus. <laughs> Focus my energy. Um, <laughs> there should be. Never found a group to play, so I've only ever seen D&D &D on games TV. Ah, oh, bless you. Maybe you should try you should try and establish a little group and make your little walk named Spork and have have many grand adventures. <laughs> what would um what would Spork do? Is what, what kind of what kind of class is Spork? Is Spork your standard like fighter or barbarian, or does he sort of stray away from the norms? I'd love to. I'd be curious to know. Spork would be a chef. Oh my gosh, yes. What would be a good D and D class for a chef? Probably a bard, actually. Because bards aren't necessarily musicians, they can kind of express themselves in any kind of creative way. Um, so, that would be quite cool. That would be really cool. And an orc, orc chef is a wonderful image. I love making orc characters, honestly. I've got... Um, so I've played as a half-orc. Um, I've made other characters that are straight up orcs, and I love them all, and I haven't played them yet, I'm just saving them for special occasions. <laughs> I've got an orc wizard who's actually kind of a badass. <laughs> um, don't even know if I'm allowed to say that word on, on this stream. Oh well, it's fine. <laughs> He started early when they found him with a spork in his mouth. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> like a like a guild of a guild of chefs out on their travels and they stumble across a deserted camp. Um probably 
an orcish camp and they've moved on and they've left a bunch of stuff behind including a small child with a with a spork in its mouth <laughs> confused as to where its family have disappeared to and the uh, the guild of the guild of fine culinary arts and wizardry uh, scoop you up and take him in <laughs> and bring him give him a whole new life <laughs> poor little guy that sounds pretty cute just gonna go quickly double check I've closed the door because I get a little bit paranoid I haven't closed the some of the doors properly. I'll be two seconds. Uh, I'll be two Okay, I'm back. <laughs> doors, are, doors officially closed. It was fine. I was just paranoid. Oh yeah, no worries. Enjoy, enjoy the call. <laughs> oh. Right. Okay, back to it, guys. Yeah, I've got to get those snake eyes right. We've got it. But starting with the, uh, we're starting with the shading. Um, And then we're going to go with highlights as well afterwards. And then, yeah. And then we'll work our way from there. And hopefully I'll, uh, I'll have achieved what I wanted to create with this character. So that'll be nice. If any of you out there like D&D, like um, and you want your character to be drawn in this sort of style, um, feel free to drop me a, drop me a line and uh, we can figure something out. I'd love to do more D&D commissions. I've only done a couple. Um, and then most, most of them have been gifts for people, for birthdays and stuff. Yeah, this I already feel better about this version. I already feel way better about this version. Yeah. What should we talk about? I could just speak my process out loud. Yeah. Okay, I want to make her hair. Oh, keeps getting stuck. 
love to see it. Love that it keeps getting stuck. That's really fun. Whoops, wrong screen. Ah, oh, sorry guys. Uh, procreate. Can are you gonna behave? Okay. It's behaving. Excellent. <laughs> Let's get back into it. sort of gone with the sort of because this, the setting that we're in is is, is like um it's quite arabic influenced uh, middle eastern um uh, it's like a middle eastern fantasy um has more of the i guess it has more of the story of like european fantasy but like is set in like a middle eastern style setting um, actually, I, I would, I'd be fascinated to see what, like, what, like, uh, Arabic or, uh, like, just, what different regions, what, what fantasy, what different regions in the Middle East, like, what kind of fantasy genres they have and how they explore fantasy. It'd be really cool to see. I imagine it's very different across the different places as well. I got it. It'd be really cool. But yeah, we've we've taken a lot of influence with, from their sort of style, and she's kind of got like a. She's got like the scimitars and stuff. I'm very lucky as well because um, I'm in a group of four people, um, which is really nice. And uh, all, all all three of the others have DM'd at some point, and it's wonderful. They're all they're all really good at DMing, and it's great because I don't have to do it. I can just be the player. I don't ever have to worry about finding a finding a new dungeon master because <laughs> I've got three people in my group who will do it. That's Mike. Uh, Mike's a really good dungeon master. Um, my friend Alex, who is on here. I believe I made him a moderator, actually. Um, Alex is a really awesome dungeon master. He's currently running the campaign. Um, and, uh, and Ellie, his partner. She, she ran the first D&D &D campaign I ever played, which was really nice because it was like it was like a really nice beginner's campaign and we had a really good time with it. Okay. Okie dokie. Do let me know if uh, the sound is a bit too quiet or anything. Or if there's any problems, because I would like you guys to be able to hear the music quite well. I think it is a bit too quiet actually. There we go, that might be a bit better. You should still be able to hear me, but... What's important is that you can hear the music and see the drawing. <laughs> Don't need to hear the noises that come out of my mouth.
Oh. What was my prepare for stream alarm? <laughs> Back, I misunderstood a call and got some help understanding the issue. Oh, nice. That's awesome. Uh, what was the, what was the, uh... That's really good. Was that like a work? Was that like a work thing? And I'm glad. I'm glad you were able to get some help. <laughs> it's always quite nerve-wracking asking, uh, asking work colleagues for help, especially, especially even if you haven't done it before. <laughs> I'm glad, and I'm glad. I'm glad you're able to get whatever it was sorted. You can, you can say if you want to, or you don't have to. Um, yeah, I have to fix people's issues with some software. Sometimes I just don't understand the issues. Oh yeah, fair enough. Oh yeah, of course you do. Yeah. I'm glad you're able to get help and get another perspective from someone else. IT guys, PSA for everybody, IT, IT people and software people don't know the answers to every single problem. <laughs> software and IT, IT is, is a big, <laughs> it's a big <laughs> range of all sorts of potential problems. <laughs> I remember I used to work in an Apple store and that people would get really funny if I didn't immediately know the answer to their, like, to their weird problem. And I'd be like, I'm, f I'm 14, my guy. Like, I've, <laughs> I've only just started working here. I think I only, I only worked there for six months. Um, but yeah, I'm glad, I'm glad you're able to get help and stuff. Yeah, I know. It's weird. Like people, some people just get kind of shirty. Um, no, people just get funny about it. I was from a very, from, I'm from a very small island. <laughs> um, most people are generally quite nice and quite patient, but. A lot of people can get quite impatient with those things. <laughs> I don't know why I woke up before 4.32am, then open and touch on my phone, and then click choose, but here we are. <laughs> well, I, I don't know why either, but uh, whatever whatever the reason, I, I appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> Good morning to you. Um, I hope you're doing okay, and you've had, you've had a decent amount of sleep at least. Um, What have I done? I've done something. Oops. Sorry, I'm just fiddling with my uh, Twitch studio, just having a look at some stuff. Um, yeah, how are you doing? Um, <laughs> I'll just slurk. Oh yeah, no worries. Do, do whatever you want. Where, uh, it's just going to be a nice show. A nice chill session today. I'm trying to keep my voice down because it's like 9 a.m. Um, well, it's not 9 a.m. It's it's 9:34 a.m. Um, <laughs> so yeah, you do you. Uh, hope you hope you enjoy. <laughs> We're drawing my D&D character. Yeah, I've seen, I've seen, um, 
I've seen a bunch of your videos, SPG, you're amazing, honestly. <laughs> yeah, no, it's during SPG, you were here last stream, you were, t you were on the train, I remember. Um, I've definitely, I've heard Chocolate play to a lot of your music and I've checked out some of your stuff. It is, it's so good, you are so good. <laughs> I'm gonna do a little. I'm gonna do a little shout out actually to String Player Gamer. I don't know how many people are here, but go go check out this guy. They're an amazing violinist, and they play video games as well. Please work. Yay! Thank you. Thanks, Nightbot. There we go. Stream manager, there we go. Thank you, Nightbot. I know how to use this website, I do. too much about texture with this sh shadowing but it's good to have some consideration of the different materials at this stage. We don't need to worry about being too detailed with it. Just as long as we get a good amount of depth going. around with her clothing a bit too much in the last colouring but it looks fine I don't know why I don't know why I kept trying to change it. It's okay. Um, for those of you who don't know last year I started colouring this character um, on stream. I did a couple of streams um, doing the outline and the colouring but then I've decided to restart colours. I just wasn't just wasn't feeling it, you know. I looked at it this morning and I was like, "Don't fancy carrying on with that." So I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start the uh, coloring again, and I'm really glad I did. I feel a lot better about this already. Thankfully, this is just one of mine and not someone else's commissions. <laughs>
some of the characters you play. Yes, it is. This is this is um, this is a character I'm currently playing as in my friend Alex's campaign. Um, and she's currently at level six. We started playing. I don't know, when did we start playing? We started playing before Christmas. Way before Christmas. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so I think we're about 10 or so sessions deep. Um, we're doing like a big long campaign. And yeah, this is, this is my current character. It's set in like a, it's set in like a medieval fantasy setting. Uh, with a lot of Middle Eastern influence, um, particularly like Arabic influence, um, and uh, sort of based around like the rivalry between like a Kenku, Kenku, not nation, they're not nations, it's more of a, I guess kingdoms, like Kenku kingdoms in the Yuan Ti Empire. Um, and it's sort of set after a major war that the UNT lost. Um, and I'm playing as a UNT because <laughs> I like to make things difficult for my <laughs> for my party. <laughs> no, I don't really. Um, I have a, I'm a good team player. I just like I just I just like playing me some spicy characters. Um and UNT is so fun to play as. And she finally got a scimitar in yesterday's game. We played last night. Uh, we played up until about half eleven, so I don't know how I'm still awake. Um, I don't know how I've managed to wake up and do the stream, but here we are. <laughs> As soon as one passes, I'm just going to crash. <laughs> I'd really love to see your um, character, Spork, come to life. I think that would be so much fun. <laughs> Maybe I should draw Spork at some point. <laughs> Does anyone else play D&D in the chat? If there's anyone there? I do D&D character commissions as well, if anyone is interested in that. So she, she's also an eldritch knight, um, where she is a, mostly a melee combat specialist. She specialises in two weapon fighting, that's why she has two scimitars. Um, but she can also cast spells, she, um, like much like a wizard can. She venomous. I think I'll crash at lunchtime too. I was awake until 4 a.m. last night, running on four hours sleep. Oh no, rip! <laughs> I think I think I saw Pixiel had gone. Uh, not Pixiel, sorry. Neosis had gone live at like 2 a.m. So are you guys, are you guys both running on the uh, on on lack of sleep. I saw the notification this morning when I woke up. <laughs> so yeah. So oh uh, yeah, I'll, I'll go through her. I'll go through her stats. Um. So. If I can remember them off the top of my head. Um, so she does have a spell called Poison Spray, which you can like use any time. Um, interestingly, but she she basically just like can spray like a certain radius with poison and they can take a certain amount of poison damage. Um, that's not a great spell though, so don't use it very often, only if I have to. 
Um, she's also immune to poison damage herself, so nothing can poison her. And she can also but talk and talk to snakes and befriend them. Um, what else can she do? You and T are usually very charisma focused, um, but my but my the Eldritch fighter relies on like, like dexterity and good dexterity and intelligence. Um, so. Um, so not the most like optimized build, but like really fun aesthetically, and she's really strong. Like she has a really high dexterity, so she can use like both of her scimitars really well. Um, and her intelligence is really high, so her spells are fairly strong. She started off being like illusion magic, like she's trying to remain disguised because she used to be like a, she used to be a, a royal in the anti empire but she abandoned them and she was like hey this war's not cool um <laughs> so but now that she's gotten stronger she doesn't have to worry so much about disguising herself so each level is about her illusionary magic with more bat co combat focused spells so like aesthetically it's really it's really fun um But personality-wise, she used to be quite venomous. She's not very venomous anymore. She's quite soft now. <laughs> like when she was um, when she was in the Yuan Ti military, she was much more <laughs> much more venomous. Until she she woke up one day and was like, "Hey, this this is not okay. Actually, why are we doing this?" Um, Um, oh, I'm not sure why Twitch does that. I get getting delayed notifications about stream. I was up on Legendary Catman's Jackbox stream. Oh, cool. Oh, Jackbox streams are so much fun. Oh, I think, I think for my, yeah, sometimes the notifications come through late. Twitch has been having some interesting, interesting hiccups. Um, but, uh, I think mine was literally because I had mine on Do Not Disturb and I woke up at like eight o'clock this morning. So it came through like after I turned off Do Not Disturb. I think that was the reason why I didn't see it. And plus I was like fast asleep by by 2 a.m. As soon as we stop playing Dungeons and Dragons, I am just pooped. I'm just like immediately pass out. <laughs> it's been really fun actually, because we've been doing a lot of sessions recently where it's basically just like, it's basically just like, bookkeeping and housekeeping and we've just been hanging out at this like little safe safe house we've been in for a while um and we've been like running errands and we've literally been doing that for the last few sessions it's been really nice and having cute little character moments what time is it cool I'll take a break at 10.30, make my partner his coffee and then come back. Uh, but yeah, if you can ever get round up a DD and d party, I'd totally recommend it, it's so much fun. But get, get good people you trust though. I. I, I've never really understood how people can like play D and D with like strangers. Yeah, I've never understood how people can like play D and D with strangers. Like, you, yeah, you, it gets a very you get it gets quite vulnerable. You get quite vulnerable at times. Like, it can be quite quite heavy. You know. Um. And like, I wouldn't want, like, I suppose people play it differently, you know, some people are very mechanics focused and some people are very role play focused and some people do have like role play heavy ones, but they're not like heavy stories or and such.
But yeah, the way I play, I wouldn't like to join a campaign like of strangers and be like, hi stranger person, I've never met before. Um, oh, hello. <laughs> hello, hearty nose. Hi, Jasmine, how are you doing? We're doing a, we're doing a soft spoken, sleepy stream this morning. And we're, we've restarted colouring Shay. How are you doing, lovely? Thanks for hopping in. Um, yeah, I just, I don't know if I could like, go to strangers and be like, hey, yeah, so let's play D&D &D together, stranger. Um, here's my extremely tragic, vulnerable character <laughs> with with a piece of my heart next to it. Um, so please, please be gentle with me, DM. You just I don't know. Um, <laughs> so. I'm good, thank you. Um, how are you? Sleepy stream works for me. I've got you on while I go island researching. I, I have you on the TV but also on my phone so I can message faster. The bane of trying to type on the PS4. <laughs> Typing on the PS4 is a nightmare. I'm pretty sure Mike has this like little peripheral that you can plug in and it's like a little keyboard on the... <laughs> yeah, what's, what do you mean by island researching? Yeah, is Animal Crossing Islander? searching for. Um, yes, I had an island to leave and I'm so excited to try and find a really cool one. Ooh, how's every yeah, how's everyone doing in the chat? How's how's things? I think we've got a few people lurking, Jasmine, but I'm sure one or two will get back to you. Um, keep searching for Raymond when one leaves. <laughs> so how do you guys islands like island search? So like what do you what do you do? Is there like a process? Because because the only thing I can think of is like through other people I know if they've got villagers leaving or through the campsite or through the amiibo. Raymond, why why is everyone so obsessed with Raymond? What's that about? Why, can can someone explain that to me? Is it because he just looks Tumblr AF? Is that is that why? <laughs> Everyone's husbando. Ticket when you oh of course oh my gosh and my boyfriend who barely plays with him oh yeah he does he literally just got them I do have a lot of nice eyes too uh, you'll be proud of the last girl of your life well done <laughs> is it Gulliver or Gulliver is it the pirate or the sailor um, is it Grumpy Kitty with extra pony yeah no oh my gosh. <laughs> To be fair, Grumpy Kitties and Petrochromia, that is, that is wonderful. <laughs> okay, I get it now. I, I fully get it. I really want to get, um... Oh my gosh, what's her name? Oh my gosh, what's the one? What's the elephant that looks like a teapot? 
She's my absolute favourite. I love her so much. I saw her on, um, I think I saw her on someone else's eyes and just lost my mind. <laughs> so cute I love that kitty island <laughs> that's adorable oh my gosh love it oh, good luck in all of your pursuits of, of Raymond and your favorite characters what other characters do you guys want on your island are there any others I really want the teacup elephant I think her name's like Tia and oh my gosh I love her so much and I really want Meringue Meringue's like a hippo. No, not a hippo. A rhino with like... Yeah, a rhino. A rhino that looks like a cake. Oh, it's so good. Oh, I definitely want Mike to have meringue, because Mike loves meringue. Like the, the character. And, and, and I think he likes actual meringues as well. <laughs> Yeah, thank you. Sorry, guys. I love Ellie. Ellie is adorable. I love Ellie. Um, the character and the food. Yes. The character and the food are wonderful, honestly. Um, so cute. We should have like a nice little Animal Crossing sesh at some point. I really want to try and get a capture card, and I think it would just be so cute. Um, seeing everybody's islands and showcasing them. Um, we should definitely do that. Uh, Marantia. Who else is good? Basically all of the elephants are good. Not a big fan of Axel. Um, it's usually the femme elephants I prefer. Um, generally the femme elephants. What, what else is good? The hippos are great. And, and, the, and the rhinos. Oh, and there's like a major update coming to Animal Crossing soon, like a, like a big one. One, I do love Meringue, Panja, <gasps> Panjetti, I love Panjetti, the pigs, yes, of course the pigs. Oh, I love pancetti. The pigs are amazing. I just want an island filled with... Mike and I basically just want islands filled with penguins, pigs, elephants, <laughs> rhinos and hippos. <laughs> oh my gosh, Mike has these two penguins. Mike always seems to get penguins, like every time they play like New Leaf or New Horizons. Um, Mike's got Aurora, who's so cute, and uh, Sprinkle. And Aurora's like a black penguin and Sprinkle's like a light blue one and they're so cute. some wraps as well.
Okay. Sorry, fellas. How are we doing? Um, I can't wait for the update. Yeah, I'm so excited for the update. I uh, got a lurk for 36 minutes for my morning meeting at work, but I'll leave the stream open. Thank you so much. Enjoy your meeting. Good luck. Uh, my favourites that I love, Ellie. Ellie's great. Francesca's great. Cherry's great. And Peaches is great. They're all getting to be my immediate neighbours. Sad, I know. Oh, I love that. That's awesome. I love that so much. Hey Nightbot, what are you doing? Ah, uh, Nightbot's just... What time is it? How are we doing? Cool, I've got about... I've got a couple of minutes. I'm not going to stop, I'm just going to take a break, get, get, get my partner their coffee. It looks like they're awake now, so I think I'll go, go get it before 10.30. <laughs> just quickly finish the, the wraps here. Yeah, what do we want in the update? What do we want? Oops. Thank you for the night bot hi. Oh uh, yeah, no, no worries. Like, if that helps get you an extra couple of pennies, like that would be great. <laughs> um, how do you do your drawing? Do you have a pad? I want the pink trees back. I oh, know the pink, the pink trees didn't last long at all, did they? Oh yeah, we get pink trees. Ah, oh, spring's on its way. Pink trees will be back. We'll get the cherry blossoms again. Yes. Um, how do you do your drawing? Do you have a pad? Um. Yeah, so I, I'm doing this drawing. I'm doing. I'm using iPad Pro um, with the Apple Pencil. Hold it up like a like a makeup artist. <laughs> um, with the Apple Pencil, yeah. And I'm. That's that's my that's my process. Uh, I use Procreate. Procreate is is gold tier art app. Um, I really recommend it if you have an iPad yourself. I don't know if they're available on other tablets. I don't know if it's just the iPad. Um, but yeah, and I'm. I've, this is the first generation iPad Pro. I've had this tablet for probably nearing five years. And uh, it's still good as new, amazingly. Um, and it will probably be my drawing tablet for until the day it never turns on again. <laughs> I know. Bring the pink trees back, honestly. <laughs> right, so I'm going to. I'm going to pause for a minute, lovelies. And I'm going to go get my partner their coffee. And, and uh, I'll be right back. Um, let me just put a little note for anyone else. Um, I'll. Back in a sec, guys.
Hello, baby boos. Oh, we've come up. Hello. Oh, there it is. Cool. My partner's awake, so we can be a little bit louder. But not too loud, because chill vibes all around, my dudes. Um, where? Let me, sorry. I'll just, I'll just read the messages. Okay, cool, let's get back to it. I'm really excited. I'm really excited to finish this character. Have you guys seen Clara? I didn't paint Clara on stream because I'm doing... Uh, I'm, I'm, she, she's part of a little competition I'm doing. Um, sorry, have I seen messages? No, I haven't. Okay, cool. Um, I'm doing a little competition, actually. 3D modeling competition. Um, with the anim, anim school, uh, um, and uh, I'm decided to use my partner's D D character, who's playing in the same campaign, um, and she is a satyr warlock. Um, I'll show you her at the end of the stream, actually. Uh, so stay tuned. Um, <laughs> I'm joking. I'll probably show you at some point in a second. Um, I won't make you wait around. Um, yeah, she's like a satyr warlock, and I'm modelling her for competition and I might have to ask you guys for some help soon because um, because it's like a voter voting based competition so you'll have to vote for your favourites and I would really appreciate it if you like my new vote for me um, and I'll send you the details of that as soon as the votes as soon as the, you can start voting um, I've got to get kick myself into gear after the stream because the competition closes in less than two weeks and I've still got a fair bit to do so <laughs> um so yeah that's gonna be that's gonna be fun um don't think I'll be able to stream my process um I think with this one because it is a competition I'm gonna sort of keep the concentration you know I, I want to be, have full concentration and like not have the pressure of streaming, I guess. It's not, it's not that much pressure. And also, like, like oh, oh no, I've just drawn a massive line. What's going on? That's weird. I've started another layer as well. Um, yeah, so, not pressure. And also, I, I still haven't tested Maya as a stream. I did, I was a dum-dum. And I realised yesterday that I had a whole game on my desktop just sitting there, causing my computer to chug every time I dream. And I thought it was a shortcut, but it turns out it was the whole game. It was just sitting there. I don't know why it was on my desktop. And I had a couple of screenshots as well and like videos. And I'm like, why was I why was I such a dumb dumb? How did I put these there? So now my computer runs really smoothly while I'm streaming. <laughs> I can now use the web browser while I'm streaming, so um, I should be able to use Maya now. Now that I've got I've cleared up my desktop, I'm such an idiot, guys. Honestly, um, but hey, it happens. It, it happens. Also, screen. I need to. I wonder if I, I must be able to change the location of where screenshots get stored. I don't know why there was a whole game. It's a Jackbox game, actually, funnily enough. Um, okay, Shay. Okay, Shay. How we doing? Right, I'm gonna quickly show you guys. Um, if you boost around, um, I'm gonna show you guys Clara. Real quick. Uh, three manager. Let's get up so I can actually see what y'all are saying. I can't read the screen. 
It's much like Shen, I'm too as well, being though. <laughs> um, so let's go to just chatting for now. Because there's some projects, secret projects in here. Uh, where are you, Clara? There you are. Oh, whoops. <laughs> there's Clara. Um, she's my. She's my Sata Warlock. Well, not mine. Sorry, my partner's Sata Warlock character, and she has a familiar called Owly, and she's really sweet, and probably, yeah, probably a little unhinged because she's a Yandere type, um, which is quite fun. Yeah, so that's that's Clara. I'm currently modelling her in 3D, um, which is going which is going pretty well. I'm really I'm having a good time with it. And I just wanted to show you guys. Um, my other friend, Ellie, her character, Ek, is an Alakokra druid rogue combination. Um, so I'll probably I'll probably do a little painting of them soon. Um, yeah. There's there's Clara. Um, yeah. I hope you guys like. <laughs> right, let's go back to Shay. Uh, let's switch back to Shay. Where are you, Shay? There you are. I've got so many projects on here, honestly. <laughs> right. Huh. Sorry, guys, I just realised I fluffed my lipstick a little bit. I was, I was looking in the just chatting stream, and I thought my lipstick looks a bit odd. That's okay though. I'm facing in one direction anyway most of the time, so it's okay. Oh, it's because I have a spot as well, it makes it look a bit. There we go. Sorry, guys. That's fun. <laughs> Get the lipstick wrong. That's okay. I'll probably go fix it up in like an hour. It happens. It happens to the best of us. It's not too bad though. Nope. Oh, whoops. Not ready for that bit yet. Mike always makes such fun D&D characters. They always contrast really well with my ones as well. They tend to either get along really well or really hate each other and there's no in between. Sculpt Shay. Maybe that'll be my uh, my first three D modeling stream. We'll do the first stream where we sculpt her body, and then the next stream will be where we sculpt her assets, her clothes and and such, and her weapons. And then we can do the. We might be able to do the texturing together. I don't know, but I don't think we'd be able to do like rigging. Because rigging takes a lot of energy on um, the computer, and so does VFX. Um, so we might be able to texture. Even then, that's quite hit and miss. But I'll definitely do some models. I'm sure. I'm sure we'll be able to handle it. Um, what I might do today is stop the stream a little bit early and test Maya on here. That would be pretty good. Oh, oh let me get rid of that layer. I'm accidentally pla painting on it. Yeah, 
There we go. Yeah, I'm already feeling way better about this version. Just wasn't just wasn't sitting right the other version, you know. any of you are enjoying this, feel free to drop me a follow, no pressure. Um, otherwise, I'm almost at 60 followers, which is so exciting. Um, hopefully, hopefully I'll be able to get to 100. Kind of, this might be a bit, hmm, let's set a goal. Let's see if we can get to 100 by the end of the year. If we can get to 100 by the end of the year, then that would be incredible. Obviously no pressure. Um, if you like what you see, also, I have like different social media. I post a lot of my artwork on my Instagram, which is JD underscore art. I, uh, and I like doing stuff like this. I also have different, different styles as well. Um, you can commission me as well if, if you want your D&D character, or if you want like a little Twitch icon, or Twitch artwork done. Um... I've been commissioned to do some Twitch art for a friend, of, a special friend of mine, um, which is awesome. Um, yeah, but of course, as I always say, there are many ways you can support the stream, but even if you just like and chill. And I hope, I hope it, I hope I can provide a nice. Nice little corner for you to chill in, you know? It's all I want. Cool, she's her shadow looking pretty good. This character also, Shay used to be quite an evil person. Um, she's kind of like, you know, trying to, trying to redeem herself, trying to, you know, change, change the future and, and for the better. She used to be quite um, an aggressive fighter from a royal military background. Um, but uh, didn't woke up one day after experiencing a pretty nasty siege and was like, "Hey, this isn't this war isn't fun. This isn't good." Um, yeah, so she she deserted her family and and the and the empire and trying to trying to fix herself and help anyone else in need. But always seems, because of my terrible, terrible dice rolling, always seems to roll, get very unlucky. <laughs> oh, what's going on? It's all my alarms I keep forgetting to turn off. Anyone else in the chat play D&D? Anyone else got any cool characters? Like, I'd love to know. Feel free to tell me. Mm. 
Yeah, she's trying her best to sort her life out, but just, just, just because I roll such terrible rolls in every check I have to do, she doesn't have the best time of it. <laughs> she will probably be the first to die <laughs> in the group. Back, that was an alarm today. Pixel has returned. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My phone knew. <laughs> Incredible timing. Amazing. How how is your meeting? Are you, how how are you doing? Do a little colour wash here. How are we all doing? Let me see. Sorry guys. Uh, not bad, everyone on my team is doing well. Oh good, I'm glad. I know you know, but I have a half-elf Echo Knight called Arlen. Am I pronouncing it right? Arlen? Echo Half-elf Echo Knight. That's so cool. Yeah, no. How How is she doing? How, how, how is she... Is she surviving? Is she doing well? <laughs> How have you been finding D and D? So are you, st are you still playing it, Jasmine? And um, Pixie, I'm really glad your team are doing good. Um, and good luck with all the work you have to do for today. <laughs> I will, I will, I will it that you have a great productive day and a lovely restful evening once it's all done <laughs> i will it to be so i'm gonna put these in one layer because it's easier there we go yeah how is your how is your half elf um echo knight doing Hope she's holding up okay, and I hope you. I hope you'll hold up okay playing D and D. Jasmine joined her first campaign a few months ago. I've been playing D and D for like, my gosh, how long has it been? Hmm. Got the angle on the ribbon all wrong here. Um, how long have I been playing D and D? Over two years now. I think it's been at least. It's been about two and a half years. Amazing.
Sorry guys, I just got really into it for a second. Um, uh, she's okay, Dindy's okay, one of the characters keeps pushing to know my background and I'm like, no. <laughs> she's an assassin but only a couple have caught on, no, but no, no one knows. Oh that's awesome, you're, you're really keeping it to yourself. <laughs> I always, I always want to do like a secretive like backstory, um, but then after a few sessions, I'll be like, oh, god damn it, <laughs> I better tell you guys. <laughs> like for this campaign, um, for this campaign, this character was going to have quite a secretive backstory, but because she wants to be good and she wants to be able to develop trust with the people she's working with, she was like, oh, I guess I better tell you guys, like. But she hasn't exactly told them any everything still, so that's a, not not as like purposefully lying. But to her, it's like oh, it just kind of seems irrelevant. Um, but yeah, I love I love that you've um, you've been very secretive with your backstory. <laughs> that's awesome. Who would trust an assassin? Yeah, good point. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure some are very trustworthy, depending on what side you're on, I suppose. <laughs> assassin characters are so much fun. Echo Knight, is that like a type of fighter? Because I know um, Rogue is usually a really good class for assassin types. I think a bard would be a fun. Well. Anyway, for, for anyone topping in, we're drawing D and D characters, and we're talking D and D. So feel free to join in the chat, the chatter. But no pressure if you just want to look. Um, that's good too. <laughs> Um, I honestly love her skills though, so I can manifest another me that can attack from switch places where That's so good! That's such a good ability, I love that. Oh, you sh can you get like, um... Can you get like, there's like these really cool spells where like, you can like, merge into shadows, and when you, when you step in shadow you become invisible, um, you can like teleport. My character can, at level 10 I think she can like teleport. 30 feet and then attack someone which is really cool um that's a re really cool oh, i remember mike used to um, when mike played as guerin oh who's there what's going on i've missed something oh stretch oh yeah thank you <laughs> thank you for redeeming stretch sorry for not being mike okay let's all have a stretch guys thank you oh sorry i didn't read your name Boz, boz girl, five, boz girl. And, oh gosh, my brain! I can't read your text. Bozgert, five, five, nine. Thank you for reminding me to stretch, and I hope all of you are gonna have a good stretch too. Oh, that's better. Thank you. <laughs> and I hope you're doing okay and you're enjoying the stream. Um, I really appreciate you being here. Um, anyway, D&D, &D, yeah. I remember Mike's character, Gwaren, had a power where she could, like, like, split into, like, three or four of her. And, like, it would confuse the enemy. They didn't know which one was the real Gwaren. Looks like... stretch <laughs> so yeah i got a cloak thing that means i can disappear into shadows and i get increased intimidation with my eyes that glow red that's so cool so guys i found molly a duck i already have dina i feel mean leaving <laughs> molly who's molly oh my god oh, i don't know what are, you, what are you gonna do do you not want molly as well you're not gonna adopt molly
Will you feel guilty if you leave her alone? <laughs> oh, I love it. Thank you. Thank you so much for redeeming all your channel gems. Um, don't forget, guys, you got some. You can redeem your channel gems and get me to do things. Um, <laughs> Or you can just collect them until you become all rich and powerful with your gems. Um, what are you going to do with Molly? I... If you feel really bad, why not bring her in? Why not? And then you can kick her out if you don't like her. Next time she asks to leave. If you guys had any villages that you've had to sort of kick out, out because they remind you too much of real world people. Um, <laughs> I I had a villager who I loved. Um, her name is Vivian, but she's kind of like the sassy type or the snooty type. I can't remember what it's called. And she was so, so passive aggressively, and I get really, really um, people being passive aggressive with me just it. I can't bear it. It it just fills me with dread and anxiety, and I hate it so much. So like. like Whenever she was like passive with me, it would make me feel so uncomfortable. And I was, and she asked to leave once, and I was like, "For my own well-being, I'm gonna have to let you go because this gives me real-world anxiety. <laughs> the fact that you're being so mean to me in the game, I can't bear it. You're gonna have to leave." So I had to kick out Vivian because she was being too passive-aggressive. I couldn't bear it. <laughs> I hit villagers over the head with a net. I'm sure you're very friendly. I'm sure you're very friendly in comparison. I can't bring myself to hit villagers over the net. Um, over the head with a net. I really can't. I just have to patiently wait for them to ask me to leave if I don't like them. <laughs> I just don't talk to them. Um, <laughs> that's what I do in real life. Um, and I'm joking. <laughs> um. But yeah, I I just I'm just like I can't be dealing with like anxiety things like in the real world. Um, so you're gonna have to go, and I need villagers that are gonna be open and direct with me at all, all times, please. And if they have a problem with me, I would like them to just immediately be like, I have a problem with you. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm I can be such a fragile little bean sometimes. Oh, that stretch was good. I can like feel it still. It's nice. <laughs> Hello, cool. the shadow layer. The shadow layer is looking good. Um. Oh, Rogracci. Hello, Jasmine had Rocket, and even though they're female, because they said room a lot we can not see my brother oh yeah i remember her telling me about that I, I had rocket too rocket was my starter um rocket and oh who was my other starter he was because rocket was a gorilla and, and i had like a little monkey as well and he was orange and i can't remember his name but yeah <laughs> i remember her saying that because her brother always says room a lot it reminded it reminded her of her brother <laughs> one of the first conversations we had. <laughs> I don't know why I remember it so vividly. Um, how's Raymond doing, Lars? <laughs> you looking after Raymond? <laughs> Taking real good care of everyone's favourite. Um, 
I think I, I like him, but listen, Tia and Meringue are where it's at. Tia and Meringue and Ponchetta. Oh my god, and Muffy. I have Muffy too. I love Muffy. She's like a little Lolita, like goth sheep. I love her so much. Um, and she's really cool with me. She's like really direct with me, um, which I really like and appreciate. And she's also very chill. Um, she doesn't get funny with me when I don't talk to her for a bit. And like some of my villagers, I've got one called Claudia, and she's like, she's like, I just thought you don't like me anymore. Well, <laughs> so rude of you not to speak to me and not not enjoy my presence at all times. And I'm like, oh, Claudia, just just please leave me alone. <laughs> also, Claudia, your music's so sad. Change the music in your house. <laughs> Hey, babies. Also, how are you doing, boss? How's things? Um, I haven't been on AC since June, lol. Raymond is in effect of faculty trapped inside the switch. Oh no, don't tell the internet that. <laughs> oh my gosh. Woe betide you if you tell a Discord server that, that you have Raymond locked in purgatory. <laughs> Let's uh, cool. Let's go along with the eraser and erase some stuffs. Get a little bit of the shadows tidied up, and then we can start the highlights. Can't we, fellas? Yes, we can. Oh, whoops, are we zooming in? Yep, sorry guys. Procreate just loves to keep me on my toes. Um, I can steal him if you need him to be looked after. I promise I won't hit him over the head with a net. I always said to Jasmine she could use him as a bargaining chip if she ever really wanted another village. <laughs> Oh, we're setting up a trade here in the chat. Is that what's going on? <laughs> Who are you willing to trade, Fix your for Raymond? <laughs> It feels very likely that I'll get Raymond at some point because I just don't, I don't have the same enthusiasm. I feel like everyone who isn't that enthusiastic about Raymond or Animal Crossing in general just gets Raymond. Like, Loz, didn't you get, like, wasn't he like your first campsite villager? I seem to remember he was like one of your first. <laughs> I just remember everyone being extraordinarily je envious. <laughs> jealous? Envious? Jealous. Jealous makes probably makes more sense for this. <laughs> Every stroke I make on this on this character, I become more and more um, attached to it, and. Um, I become more and more in fear that she will die uh, in the next session. I, I really don't want her to die. I used to get so sad about my character, the potential possibility of my character dying. Um, but now I'm kind of over it because it's happened. 
it's one of those things where like once it happens you, you're kind of like oh no, th this was emotional for a minute but it's okay they, they live on in my character sheets <laughs> had this really awesome pirate character who was just cursed. Um, she just... I transferred her across a, a cursed campaign to another cursed campaign in which she ended up dying in. <laughs> Poor Letitia. She lives on in, in, my, in my little headcanon though. <laughs> There's about ten. Oh, um, I can trade anyone. <laughs> I can get them through amiibo, except Raymond doesn't have one, so I want to give more than just a villager. There's about ten villagers you can't get through amiibo. You think they would have done the amiibo by now? Um, how are you going to do the skin? Is she going to be scaly? Um, just know someone that uses necromancy. Um, yeah, she's going to be very scaly. That's going to be a really long uh, task. <laughs> And I'm going to do another layer of scales in a bit, actually. I don't know if I'll be able to do it on the stream. What time is it? 10.48. Yeah, I'm going to make it very sca very scaly, but it's not going to be like... It's probably just going to be quite small scales. So they, they kind of catch in the light. So it's not too obvious if that makes any sense. Um, but yeah, she has lovely scaly skin. It's very pinky white scaly skin. Um, which will be really fun. It will take a while. I did do, I've done scales before on like armor and stuff, so I shouldn't have any problems doing scales on, on skin. I don't think I've drawn anyone particularly scaly. Also, speaking of necromancy, I've not really played it. Um, I guess the closest I've ever played to. Necromancer, necromancer is uh, Morticia. So the warlocks tend to be. Well, actually, no saying that, there's not a lot of subclasses for warlocks that like support necromancy, but it feels like it makes so much sense they'd be a bit more necromancy focused. Uh, but she's probably the closest thing I've ever played to a necromancer. But I did build like a Furbolg um, druid who's very necromancy based. She's like nine foot tall, really fluffy. And has a big old purple wizard hat. <laughs> she's very cute. I haven't played her in anything yet, but she's she's ready. I named her Ingrid, and I think I started drawing her. Um, I'll have to show you guys at some point. One, one day I'll uh, make sure I'll hide all projects I don't want you guys to see, and I'll just go through all of my progress stuff and show you even stuff that hasn't quite been finished yet. <laughs> I think that would be really fun. Just nice to see someone who's not fancy. Yeah. Necromancy is fun. Mike's character, Clara, you, has has sort of become a summoner. Um, so she, she's kind of using like necromancy magic to like bring skeletons to life to serve as like her little minions. It's really fun. <laughs> We currently have two corpses just walking along with us, holding things for us and helping us in fights. <laughs> it's really fun. There we go. 
go. Just smooth out the rapier a little bit as well. Not rapier, it's a scimitar. What's wrong with me? Also, I've given the cinema scimitars to different healths, and I quite like that. I quite like that it's different. I've got them at different times. There we go. Um, there we go. Sorry, guys, let's check the chat. Just Nightbot shouting out our boys, at, our boys and girls and non-binary pals at uh, Dark Fantasy Studios. They make some fantastic music, I fully recommend checking them out. Add a bit of atmosphere to your streams, your D&D sessions, or your uh, films and such. I should make the scimitars matching actually because I quite like this hilt. Yeah, I'm gonna make them I'm gonna make them match. Okay, which way? So yeah, yeah. Cool. Better balance if they're actually matching. <laughs> also, as she levels up, I imagine she'll be able to acquire matching scimitars at some point. She's currently using a sim one scimitar and one rapier in the in the uh, in the campaign. scales now actually um or should we do the light first and then yeah let's do the lighting let's do the highlights first then we'll work out how the scales interact with the lighting yeah that's a good idea how are we doing for time folks 10 55 
knocking going on upstairs. I wasn't sure if it was the door for a second. If you guys are wondering why the highlights and shadows are so black and white, we're going to use, once we add the colours, we're going to use a fun layer blending technique to make them complement the colours better. So the shadows don't just look black and the highlights don't just look white. We'll, uh, we'll sort out the colour accuracy towards the end of the project. Be a bit more harsh with these colours. Yeah, we might be able, we might have time to do to do scales. Then we can do the colouring next session. Probably we'll end up finishing it in the next session. Which would be really cool. And then on Sunday, I can work on some requests I've had. What's everyone up to this week? Has anyone got any nice plans? As for me, I'm going to play some Luigi's Mansion. My folks got me Luigi's Mansion for Christmas and I'm going to probably going to sit down and play through that while I as well as finish um, as well as finish my, my 3D model of Clara. I'm currently working on the hair. Probably what I'll get up to once the stream is over. I need to texture her hair and then give her some fur, which will be fun and difficult most likely because fur is tricky, um, but I've done it before and I can do it again. For an assignment at school, of at uni, a few months ago, Gosh, no, it was a year ago. <laughs> it was a year ago. So a year ago, during my master's degree, I had to make myself look like a penguin. I morphed my head into like a penguin head. And the fur was pretty cute. And I did, I did quite well on that assignment. <laughs> it was really fun. It's just been playing some Minecraft Dungeons, so I might continue that. Oh my god, Minecraft Dungeons looks so cosy. That looks like such a lovely cosy game. Is it? Is it like... Are you, are you enjoying it? How far and how far in are you into it? It looks, it looks really fun. Um, I will finish this on Friday, 
hopefully finish it. If not, we'll carry it on on Sunday. And then next we'll do the quests. Uh, I've had two. two. Um, I won't. I won't give away what they are now. Um, I've had two requests from eligible subscribers, um, so I'm excited to to do that. And what else? Oh yeah. And what I might do actually, my plans for the rest of the month. I'll either. I might stream the process of me making the rest of my channel art and my emotes once I finish once I finish the 3D modeling stuff. But again, that might not be till February. Hmm. Hmm. Think, think, think. We'll stick with painting this January, and then in February we'll do we'll do the emote designs and we'll do 3D modeling stuff and any more requests I might get. Um. Yeah, I think that sounds good. This month we'll finish the Shay, we'll do a couple of requests, and we'll do my Twitch art. So we'll do my we'll do my emotes in February, but we'll do my seasonal banners. So at the moment it's kind of got like a wintry theme going on. Um, but I'm gonna have the sort of same character in four different settings that I change as the seasons change. I've had some ideas of what I want to do for that, so I think that might be quite fun to do with you guys on stream. And get them all ready for the rest of the year, so I don't have to worry about it in the future. And I'll probably change them with solstices, starting from now. Um, oh, thank you. Um, yeah, doing the DLC at the moment, which is pretty cool. It's very simplified jungle crawler, maybe a bit too simple. Yeah, I've seen I've seen people say that it's quite overly simplified. But I think it's good if you're like I think it's good for like if you if you just want something really laid back and, and you like the genre or like if you haven't played dungeon crawlers before. Or if you want to play something with your kid, you know? Like that just seems like a nice it seems like there's very much a place for that, you know? Because I've seen I understand the critics but to me it feels it makes sense oh my gosh speaking of games have you guys seen the trailer for, for uh, Mario 3D Land Bowser's Fury it looks so good it looks like so much fun like the Calamity Ganon has hit, hit Bowser by the looks of things <laughs> it's really cool Nintendo have been on such a such a big, massive monster hype at the moment. <laughs> Calamity Ganon and like the monstrous Bowser they've created. It's awesome. Really cool. well guys I'm quite pleased with this I like the sort of statue <laughs> vibe of it that it has at the moment it looks like a statue <laughs> I also have Cadence of Hyrule to play. I need to play that. I also have. Oh my gosh, I really want to play Skyrim as well this winter. Oh gosh, why do I? Why? Why can't I just have a month where I do nothing but but play video games? Because JD, if you were off 
took that opportunity, you still wouldn't take it because by about day three you'd be like, oh my gosh, I haven't done anything, any work, and then just start working again. <laughs> Look for jobs, Jade, and you gotta you gotta do your streams, do your 3D stuff. This is nice. I'm having a good time, guys. This is really chill. It's quite like laid back. Yeah, I like being able to use my Xbox controller. I hate point and click mechanics too. Oh, really? Oh, that's good. That's good you can use a controller. Yeah, the point and click mechanics are quite hit in this, aren't they? I will say, did you guys ever play Infinity Blade? Did you ever get a chance to play that before Epic Games? Um, unjust unjustifiably removed it from the from the Apple Store, from the App Store. Honestly, that game that was the best point and click I ever played. It's point and click and point and click and swipe and swipe. <laughs> it was really good. It was like um, it was you 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 played as this uh, knight called Cyrus, and you could like the first game. You you have to you go through. It's like a dungeon crawl kind of. And you have to fight all these different bosses to try and get to a character called the God King, and you had to try and kill the God King. And you'd like level up as you go, and you can get new kit as you level up and, and stuff. But the first few times you go, you always lose against the God King because you're not powerful enough. And every time you lose, it the a cutscene plays, and it's like twenty years later, and your son takes over, but he's got your stats. So it's just generations of people trying to fight this. This deathless character is really fun, and then the next game they kind of develop the story even more, and the stories are really, really, really fun, and the graphics were just insane. It was such beautiful games, um, and it's such a shame that uh, it's such a shame that they removed it from the app store because it, it was just it was just so much fun, and I can't I can't play it now um, because I bought it on my parents' iCloud, and I didn't I didn't get hold of it in time, um, so and I really want a copy of it on my own iCloud and I'm so I'm so gutted that they removed it. Um, I'll have to do some Infinity Blade fan art at some point. They put the weapon in Fortnite and everyone got really mad about it because pe most people who played Fortnite hadn't played Infinity Blade and they were like, what is this? <laughs> it's too OP. Because it would just one hit kill people, I think. Because it's like a weapon to kill gods. Um, and it made me really sad. I was like, what? Why are you guys taking it off the app store? It's barely been up. Like the third game, it's only been up for like five years or something. Not even that. And, and Apple just released the iPad Pros and they were just perfect for games like Infinity Blood. Sorry, which one was that? Oh yeah, I played the first one of that. I have loads of apps that won't run anymore. Yeah, it's really sad. Like, I'm really good. I can't play any of the Infinity Blade apps anymore um, because I bought them on my parents' iCloud. Um, whereas I have my own iCloud now. Now that I'm a, I'm an adult, um, but I, I didn't didn't grab them. It's so sad. The third, second and third one was so good. It was so good. And they wrote little novellas in between to continue the stories. Um, yeah. Epic Games, why did you, why, why, why did you, why did you do that? Why did you have to go and take away Infinity Blade? It was like, such a good game, it was so good. Uh. <laughs> oh well, it's fine. I guess it's fine. It's fine, I'm fine. I'm totally not, like, upset about it. it's good um <laughs> oh well maybe they'll do something with it in the future maybe they'll put it on the epic game store or something and 
get it, you can get it on like PC or Mac or something. I don't know if they have a shopping cart yet, so maybe as soon as they have a shopping cart, they might be able to um, <laughs> work out what to do with Infinity Blade. <laughs> armor was so gorgeous in those games as well. Like it was just so satisfying to collect loads of loads of different armor and weapons and things. It was really good. Um they don't support old apps long enough. No, they really don't. And, and it wasn't even that like literally Epic Games themselves just took it down. They were like, like we can't we can't afford to keep this running. We want to put more energy into Fortnite, so we're gonna like add a weapon in Fortnite as a tribute to Infinity Blade, and then we're gonna remove Infinity Blade from the App Store. Like, I feel like like, like they could have easily, I feel like they could have optimized it all of them for iPad Pro and kept it running, and it would have been really nice. Oh, <laughs> it'll live on in my memory and in my fan fiction that I wrote when I was fourteen. <laughs> Um, <laughs> but yeah, no, in general, like, yeah, it's a shame that some apps just disappear after all, only a few years. It really is. Um, Apple's forced obsessence is so much fun. Um, <laughs> Oh well, what can we do? It's coming along all right. It's for all apps. I'm looking amazing for a phone game. It still looks better than most, even to this day. Yeah, exactly. The as each game came out, it just looked more and more amazing. Um, on the iPad Pro, because I did manage to play it briefly when I had the iPad Pro. Um, Infinity Blade Three looked incredible. Um, the first Infinity Blade game had like dated a little bit, but it was still very playable, and it was still like amazing to see the progress of to see the development of the game. And yeah, like, it, it, it's such a shame because it it feels like nothing else like that has kind of emerged, you know? Like, Infinity Blade could have been amazing for getting more um, amazing looking games. There's some really amazing looking indie games, like really stylistic 2D stuff. Um, but in terms of, like, three epic kind of games, <laughs> forget, excuse the pun, um, epic looking games, like Infinity Blade could have like started something really cool um and they got game of the year like i don't like they they, they got so many awards and like those games did really well it's just it, uh, it's just baffling to me that they couldn't just like leave it up like just just like, cancel all of the online stuff you know like no one really went to infinity blades 
played online stuff. We were all into the single player stuff. <laughs> like, I still played online, but but there was enough like single player stuff to just keep it going. Because um, I think that was Epic Games' excuse. They were like, oh, we don't want to keep up the service from Infinity Blade. But it's like, just just make it all offline then. It's still fun. <laughs> I'm sure most people played it just for the offline stuff, you know? I'm sorry, I'm just rambling about this. <laughs> Um, I really wanted to try and stream it as well, and that was when I found out I couldn't play it anymore. Because <laughs> I hadn't bought it on my own Apple ID. Um, say la vie though, say la vie. It's okay guys. Hi everybody, got some people, got some more people hopping in. Hope you're all doing okay. We're making my D we're drawing my D and D character today, Shay. And we're just doing sort of shadows and highlights at the moment. Hope you're all having a lovely day and you're feeling good and chill and yeah. Um so I don't know if I I'm just gonna just lightly erase some of the whiteness here to sort of level it out a little bit so all the more shinier points pop more, you know? Ah, oh, goodness me. The Simpsons um, recently. Has anyone, has anyone watched The Simpsons at all? Does anyone like The Simpsons? We've been at the beginning of the pandemic. We started watching it from right from the beginning, and we're about two seasons away from catching up. And it's it's good. It's good. It's really interesting. Um, oh hello. Uh, this looks better than most. Just an update. I found my new villager. She's called Freya and she's a pink wolf. Oh, oh my gosh! Oh. Freya. That's awesome. Freya sounds wonderful. Oh my gosh. Let me look up Freya. Uh, Freya animal. Crossing. Freya animal crossing. She's gorgeous. I love her. Oh, I'm glad you got a good one. <laughs> I'm glad. I hope it was worth all the island hopping. <laughs> oh, she's lovely. Freya's great. I love Freya. <laughs> I'm glad you found a good one. Oh, and thank you for the update. I appreciate that. <laughs> um. What am I saying? What am I doing? Uh, did we? Oh, there's like a request thing. Oh, I've done it. Mark is complete. Okay. Sorry, I just noticed that the uh, hosting you. Oh, I just noticed. I think you need to some pictures to all of this and forward hosting me. I appreciate that. <laughs> Thank you guys. I just noticed that. I've, I've, I've configured my stream manager on the Twitch website and it's showing me more things. Um, so that's the first time I've noticed all of that. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Um, how are we all doing? I said it up automatically, forgot about it. <laughs> Thank you so much, no, I appreciate that. It's nice, it's a nice thing you can just sort of set up real quickly and forget about. Um, I think I host a few people as well. I try and host like small streamers and friends and stuff. Small streamers and friends, I'll just host. It's nice, it's a really nice feature. It's like a really easy, a nice, easy way to support the channel, you know? Um. Hmm. 
Yeah. Right, how's it going? Shay, how are we doing, honey? We doing okay? Is it going okay? Yes, it is. It's looking pretty cool. Let's do a little bit of light sh light highlights on the on the blade behind her. And let's hide the bottom layer. See how she looks. And then add whatever feels appropriate. I think that's looking good. I'm just going to add a... Oh my gosh, what's what's the shadow called when it like it, 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 it stretches out across the ground? <laughs> I'm blanking. I'm blanking on the, the name of the of shadows that cast. Cast shadows! It's literally cast shadows, isn't it? Moving of the cast shadows. <laughs> As I as I was trying to figure it out, I said the word. It's cast shadows. And then you got like. And then you've got. I can't remember the name of shadows on the surface. I'm really good at remembering uh, good terminology, guys. I'm, <laughs> I'm so glad we don't have to do exams at uni because I just wouldn't be able to remember the words for anything. I know how to do things, but not the words of things. Yeah, it's a really, really nice way to recommend channels if people like hop onto your hop onto your channel and things and take a look. Oh, I need to add, I need to add that to my about page. That just reminded me. There's like a little here's how you can support me. I've got like a little section in my on my about page. It's like here's how you can support the channel. Um, I need to add post me. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, cool. Um, should we... Stomach's growling, that's no good. I'm gonna have to go off and get a snack soon. How long do I have until the end of the stream? Oh, not long, actually. Not too long, too long, dears. I think I will come off at 12. And then I'll probably hop back on really briefly to do a test stream. So if you see if you see me go live again here today, um, I'm not doing a full stream. I'm doing a little test um, to see if, if um, my uh, Maya will, will work and if, if my computer can handle it. Um, yeah, let's figure out how we're going to do the scales for the last half hour, shall we? Um, actually, do you know what I will do, Pixel? Because you, you reminded me about that. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go back to the base layer. And I think I might just draw in as much of them as possible and then you know that feels like that would take a lot we'll figure it out i feel like that might be better it might be easier you know what it'll take a while but it's worth it Let's do I wish I could just put a little bu a little map, a little bump map over it. <laughs> We're not making 3D. Hmm. Think, 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 think. Scales are going to take ages. Yeah. Form shadows. That's it. Form shadows. Thank you. Yes, Google does know me. Thank you for being my my local Googler. Um, scales take ages. I guess if you did have them their own layer they could adjust them to yeah exactly i was gonna just put them in their own layer draw them everywhere and then have the lighting and shadow affect it after i've drawn them which means i'll have to draw them everywhere which is fine oh. i know what i'll do 
I'll have the shadow layer on and because you'll probably only really be able to see when they catch the light. That's the kind of effect I want to give, give for them. So I'll leave the shadow layer on and I'll draw them in accordance with the shadow layer. <laughs> so I don't have to draw too many, but I can still... A really good time for my pencil to act up. Um, I really need to change the nib, but I've already burnt through both of the nibs. <laughs> yeah, now we can do this. Patience. Patience, my children. Oh, I know what to do. I know what to do, guys. I know what to do. Okay, I figured it out. Trust me, trust me. This is all a fun learning process. I'm enjoying that we're doing this little learning process together. So if there's if there's a lot of light on them, if there's like an intense amount of light on them, you won't be able to see them very well. You might see little glistens, but uh, if there's a, a lot of if they're covered in a lot of shadow, you won't be able to see them. So it'll just basically be in between the lights, the highlights, and shadows where you can see the scales. and just sort of draw little suggestions of them rather than going too detailed because when you zoom out they pretty much disappear so we'll just do like little little suggestions of, of them and then we'll uh yeah that always looks kind of kind of scaly Um, scales will take ages. Um, I guess if you did them on their own layer, uh, scales are so much effort, especially if you, you want them to be slightly curvy. Yeah, they're honestly so much effort. I did them for one, one of Columbina's designs. I gave her scale armor, and I couldn't sort of just do suggestions of scale. I would like, I would like draw out each bit like this, and luckily not all of her armor was scale because I kind of had like half, half level half scale. Um, for armor, so that was really fun. And when you do it, it it really, it's really worth it because it just it just makes it look so much cooler, you know. It's really worth putting the time in. Yeah, this is gonna this is gonna be a fun process. Oh, now now I'm like. Oh. Should have given her more clover. <laughs> no, this is good. I like this. This is this is good. And I want her to have all of the scales.
it stopped. No, it's just very quiet at the moment. Oh, hello. <laughs> Thanks for the emote. <laughs> hype. Hype, hype, hype. <laughs> yes. With your hype, with with all the hype, I, I feel I feel I feel I have the strength to 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 do the scales. Let's not draw them on the wrong way though. <laughs> Scales, scales, scales. It's quite relaxing actually. Yeah, it's actually easier drawing them with the shadow and highlight layer on because you can already see the the depth effect. Whereas, like if I if I had turned off the shadows and highlights and just drew the scales in, and then I turn on the shadow and highlights and it doesn't look right, it would have been a waste of time. So, it's good to leave these layers on and work between them. If that makes any sense. And she is a fighter, so she's got military background, so I imagine they're quite rough as well. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Little, little suggestions of scales. I think this is going well. Thank you, Pixel, for for reminding me. <laughs> to do these. Oh, she has a military background, battle scar. Oh my god, yeah, she has to have a battle scar. Oh, I didn't get one. Where should I? Oh, I had one on her cheek. In the original, oh, hang on, guys. Hmm, I had one here. Yeah, she has a military background. She's from a, she's from a mil, she's from like a royal, she's from like a royal house, like a noble house that are like, they're all very militaristic. So pretty much every, every person born in the house, in that house is, so uh, turns out, Will, will be like a have some involvement in the military. Oh, there we go. Give her a few on her uh, arms and legs as well, probably. I think. <laughs> I think most of my D and D characters end up having military backgrounds. Ones I've got stored away for future use, anyway. Battle scar, yes. Thank you for reminding me, Pixel. I yeah, I did I did give her a battle scar in the original colouring. Um how I could, I could never forget. How could I forget to give her one? I imagine some of her scales of kind of her scales are very rough and uh, some of them might have some of them have definitely sort of flaked off permanently. Oh, 
I'm having I'm having a lot of fun doing these scales. This feels this is worth it. This is absolutely worth it. What time is it? I'll stop at 12 today. I'm going to try and keep my streams starting 9 till 12. Um, I was originally doing 10 till 1, but I think so I can have time for lunch and stuff to make lunch. Um, I think I'll do 9 till 12. And then as the channel grows, I'll probably add more times. Um, or depending on how job hunting goes and stuff. I think I will stop at 12 today and then just have my Sunday streams as four hours. That's okay with you guys. Okay, this is starting to look pretty cool. I'm, I'm pretty pleased with this. I'm really glad I started colouring again. I just looked at it this morning and I was just like, she doesn't feel right. She doesn't quite have the character I wanted to give her. Um, and I'm, that was the best decision I've made today. <laughs> was deleting her colour layers and starting them again. didn't take too long so the rest of the body should be alright. Am I right fellas? Yeah. yeah thank you so much for, for being here today guys I'm really enjoying this. I hope you guys are doing this, enjoying this too. I'm definitely gonna have a lot more uh, D and D content as the year goes on. Um, hopefully I'll have some more D&D commissions. That would be really cool. If you do want to commission me, feel free to drop me an email. My details are in, my, are in the description. On the about page. <gasps> Shay, oh my god, it's Shay, guys. Oh, it's Shay! Ah. <laughs> I'm excited to colour her, but I kind of don't what do I quite like the grey scale? Definitely conflicted. Oh, thanks for the emotes. <laughs> I love how, how it's turning out so far, looking amazing. Thank you so much. Um, thank you so much, Picture. I'm so glad. I'm so glad you like it. I, I'm really pleased with how it's going so far. Um, and I'm really. I'm really glad you guys like it too. Yeah, hopefully there'll be way, m many more D&D &D streams in the future. Well, not actually playing D&D. &D. I don't think I've ever live streamed. How do people do it? How do people live stream D&D &D session? Because when you start off playing D&D, &D, you can kind of be like, oh yeah, let's do live streams. That would be really fun and, and like really cool. But as you, as you kind of continue, you're like... Yeah, this is hard. Like, how how can you how can anyone how can people like Matt Mercer and the critical role people like keep this up and make it not only make not only have a good time amongst themselves playing D and D, doing something quite vulnerable, but then to stream it to millions of people, you know, that that's insane. I really uh, I really admire anyone that can do that. <laughs>
also, um, I could really do with some more mods on my channel, I was just thinking. Um, so if anyone out there wants to be a moderator, there's never any pressure to, um, there's never any pressure to, like, be here all the time. You don't have to come on all the, all the time at all. Uh, you don't ever have to come on. Again, you, you can, I'm, I'm happy to have lots of moderators. Um, so if, if anyone, if anyone's interested in that, um, drop me a note. I would, I would really appreciate that. Because I, I forget about things like shout outs and, and stuff like that. And I think it'd be nice to have to have more people on here, like regulating things, you know? <sighs> cool. Oh my gosh, this is cool. This is cool, guys. Guys, we're doing good. We're doing so good. I don't mind anymore. I'm waiting for Legendary Catman to fi uh, so figure it out gradually. Yeah, if you're down for it, I'd, I'd be down for making you a mod, mod if, you, if you're good. I'd be more than happy for you to be a mod. But I'm no expert. No, no worries. No one needs to be like an expert or anything. Um, like, I feel like I could trust you Im immensely with, with, with that power. Um, so yeah, if, if you're down, I'll make you a mod right now. Um... Yeah, if you're down, reconfirm, and I'll make you a mod. Um, because that, that would be wonderful. But yeah, again, no pressure to like do anything or be present. It would just, 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 just to have another pair of eyes spotting any spam or any funny business, you know. Um, because I can't always look at the chat. I know, I know, not everyone can always look at the chat. But you know what I mean. Um. With great power comes great courage and wisdom. Exactly. And I bestow that great power and great wisdom onto you. Wow. Yay. <laughs> you have the full the full triforce of, of, of abilities right there. <laughs> I, I believe it. Laws and Jasmine, if you're there, uh, let me know if you want to be mods as well. That would be, if you're up for that, that would be great. The more mods, the better. Well, until a, till a, to a point, to a certain level, then there's just too many. Very well on the shading here. Let me let me let me fix that up. Um, I'd happily be a regular mod once a week. Oh, that would be one. That would be wonderful. I always wanted a black light tattoo. <laughs> a black light tattoo. I was left handed. I would love a triforce of courage that shows up. Oh, that would be so cool. <laughs> oh, whoops. Um, sorry, guys. Oh, yes. Ac excellent. I will make you a mod too, Jasmine. That would be wonderful. Gnome 4. Party Gnome 4. Let me show the right name. Yep. Yay! Um, would happily be ready to watch. Yeah, don't, no worries. Even if you can't hop on once a week, it's all good. Um, I trust you guys. I've had a, a, a trifle of courage that shows up. That would be really cool. I could do, for instance, stream every week as I have Wednesday free. Yeah, that would be awesome. I'd really appreciate that. Uh, let's make for good measure as well. Oh, whoops. Uh, mod. Well, correct. Have the right. Yeah. Cool, awesome. I have more moderator now. Fantastic. Thanks, guys. Yeah, that would be ama that would be amazing if you would hop onto the stream um, every Wednesday and mod it. But again, there's no pressure. It's all good. Um, luckily, it's still like a nice little cozy hub. Um, there's only a handful of people here, so 
nothing nothing too major to worry about thank goodness yeah thank you guys so much i did you oh actually speaking of when the famous bots turn up we'll be ready yeah i haven't had, a few, I haven't had those bots for a while i had a bunch of them um before christmas but haven't haven't seen them come up for a while i i hope they're doing okay <laughs> no i i don't know they're doing okay they're so annoying i don't want to become famous and buy followers I don't want to be famous. I don't want to buy followers. It's not. It's not. It's not. It's not the way. It's not the Jedi. It's not the. It's not Jedi way. You know. Actually, to be honest, Jedi might buy followers. Who knows? Yeah, make sure no meanies come on the channel. Oh, my throat's getting all scratchy. I need to drink more water. I'll get got. You might be taking a Christmas holiday too. Yeah, the Christmas holiday might have continued. <laughs> yeah, they might be just just having a holiday, or maybe Twitch actually cracked down on them. Who knows? <laughs> Who really knows, huh? Maybe they'll be. Maybe I'll curse. Maybe I'll, I'll jinx it, and they'll be back in full force before we know it. Shading is too soft here. Here we go. That's better. Here we go. And there, like this. There we go. That's better. Whoops, no it's not. Oh no! Don't eat me. Um, there we go. There we go, nice and- no, that's better. How's everybody doing? Sorry, whoopsie. Let me take a Christmas order, did you? <laughs> Let's try it. Yeah, for now, while I'm still- while I'm still a small streamer and- um, I think I will, I will end the stream today at 12, and we'll can continue this same time on Friday, hopefully. I'll try my best to be on at 9 again. I quite like getting up at 8 and then getting ready and then being on here in, in the morning. It's quite peaceful. Oh, oops. It is quite peaceful just being on here in the morning, seeing seeing how everyone's doing. You know, being part of people's morning routines. <laughs> we'll definitely continue the scales on Friday. We should finish them. No trouble.
Yeah, I really like I really like the texture that the scales have given her. This is this is really fun. I'm excited to make a 3D model of her eventually and give her the like do the scale texture on her skin on my hair. That'd be so fun. Scar on the shadow. I'll give her another scar here as well. If you're gonna have a fighter character, you can't not give them battle scars, honestly. You really can't. My half orc barbarian Asha, she has like battle scars, but the way I textured her skin makes her look like she's made of marble. I like the idea that when she's really still, you can't quite tell if she's like a statue or not. I miss her. I, I replayed with those characters for a few months last year. <sighs> no, 2018? 2019. 2019. Yeah. It's amazing that you can grow attached to, <laughs> to characters like this. They're not even like in books and video games, they're literally just in your imagination and on a character sheet. <laughs> and yet you can just still grow so attached to them. It's, it's, it's incredible, honestly. How we do for time, everybody? Cool, we got we got we got five minutes, um, and we're doing we're doing quite well. I'm I'm pleased with how, how this is on today, and thank you all so much for being here. It's been it's been a real nice. Um, do drop me a follow if you'd like. Um, that would be much appreciated. Um, you can check out my socials and stuff. I do a lot of art, jadeen underscore art or jadeen ingram on my more formal portfolio on art station um, but everything she linked in my about page but again no pressure, it's all good um, and I'm really excited to be back on on Friday and hopefully uh, now that Christmas is over and we're well into January um, I'll try and keep up my little schedule of Streaming three times a week, uh, for Wednesdays and Fridays, nine till twelve, or nine to one, and then Sundays from four till eight. Um, and we'll make lots of lots of sweet sweet arts together. We'll play some sweet sweet music, and we'll have some sweet sweet fun times. It'll be real nice. <laughs> It was really nice sitting in, thank you. Aw, thanks for being here. I really I really appreciate you being here and you guys supporting the channel means the world to me, honestly. <laughs> it really does.
Um. <sighs> yeah, it's looking cool. I like it. I like her vibe. I like how it's looking so far. We're doing, we're doing, we're doing good, guys. We're doing, we're doing good luck. Yeah. <laughs> Let's do, a, let's do a few more little, let's do a, let's do a few more little touch-ups, and then I will say goodbye. Uh, you've done so much of this drawing so quickly today, I'm surprised how quickly and well you're going. Oh, thank you! <laughs> I seem to be getting a little bit faster each time I do these, which is which is really cool. It's my confidence builds, and um, thank you so much. I, I really appreciate that. Um, yeah, we've, we've, done, we've done quite a lot today, which is cool. Um, it, it, it definitely feels like next stream we'll be able to We'll be able to finish her, and then my my latest D and D character will, will have come to life. <laughs> um, yeah, it's been. Oh, hello, is that? Oh, hi, Judy. Now, just saying hi as I've been lurking the entire time while working. Thank you so much. This looks amazing so far. I can't wait to see how it turns out again. Thank you so much, news. I really appreciate that. I hope your work's been going okay, and. You're doing and you're having a nice well day <laughs> thank you so much i'm really glad you guys like this i i'm genuinely so happy that i decided to to recolor it <laughs> um when i do the playback you'll you'll see the first uh the first bunch of color the first bunch of color the, the first chunk of color I, I did um but yeah so many alums today great that's my cue to go um, super busy and annoying, but otherwise okay. Oh, oh, bless you. Good luck. You can do this. Uh, stay hydrated and stay safe, everybody. And um, good luck with all your all your doings. I hope you have time to rest. See you all soon. Right, let's do map. There we go. <laughs> Bye, everybody.